Good morning everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. I'm out collecting on the beach again. We're going to head to Port Mulgrave today. So we've got a few fresh little nodules here. Not sure if there's anything inside of these ones, but they're worth a tap I think. So a lot of the beaches on the Yorkshire coast are quite picked over at the moment due to not having any rough seas and the high number of visitors on the more easy access places. So I'm going to make my way round to Port Mulgrave because even though it's quite a popular beach there is usually something to be found there. It's one of the most famous beaches in the area for good finds. So I'm out collecting with my dad today. He's got the red jumper in the far distance there. Tend to come out with him quite often on the early mornings. He likes the early morning starts. Tends to not appreciate the later I'll ones. I'll still come out on the odd later tide, but I prefer the early ones as well. see a ammonite wearing out in this little puddle here might be a little bit sea worn it's eroded so you can see the calcite chambers underneath the shell of the ammonite two fresh looking nodules nice fresh out of the cliff gonna give them a tap could be something inside let's find out Start with this one. Put my glasses on. I'm gonna have a go with my chisel now. Put it about here. Looks like a good one. Perfect. Very nice. Just as the sun is coming up. Sun is over there. So I'm currently having a good scan through all of the beach pebbles where the tide has been. There's quite a few over there which I'll have a look on the way back. Hopefully there'll be something washed up among these. Remember everyone, if you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. There's a bunch of beautiful prepared fossils all available for purchase with shipping to most countries. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you. So I've just found something quite interesting. Not sure if you'll be able to make it out on the camera, but inside this long pebble, there's a crustacean, a Jurassic fossilized lobster. So it's probably part of the body you can see here. You might not be able to make it out on the picture, but if I remember, I'll put some stills up on the screen for when I get back home. Very cool. I've just spotted an ammonite and I'm going to run back and grab you so you can see it before I pick it up. Here we are, wedged within this rock here. Looks like a decent one. 
Nice. All there, apart from a little bit of sea wear on the edge of the keel, but it's still a pretty good one. So I'm just looking in and amongst these sandstone boulders here, and I've just spotted, which I'm hoping might be a really nice ammonite. Now, can you see that one there? And let's have a look at the keel. Hopefully it's all there. Please be a big one. It's looking nice so far. Wow. Looks like a pyritic one. I'm gonna probably give that one a tap on camera. And let's hope it's a good one. Might even be a Perinoceros. Certainly worth a tap. So there was one in it, but nothing worth talking about. I will leave that one. There's a lot of not so well preserved ones on the Yorkshire coast, so you only really want to take the good ones back, otherwise you end up with a basement full of them. Beautiful view over Port Mulgrave. So here's a few we've just picked up now on the way back to the car. There's a nice little small dactyloceros inside here. Quite a large one, but I'm not sure if it'll be preserved inside because it's blown there. Pyritic one from earlier that I found. I'm going to give it a quick tap here and see if it's well preserved on the inside. And it looks quite good. I'm just going to give it a tap here now. You can see a natural fracture already forming. Oh, nice. So that's quite an interesting find. A mega crusty Hildoceros ammonite stuck within the shale. I'm curious what it'll look like on the reverse. I mean, it's been wearing out probably of the cliff and the shale bank for years, looking at the state of it. Interesting though. Give the little Hildy a tap. And it's popped easily, which is a good sign. Nice. Nice little rusty Hildoceros. I've just picked up a beautiful looking nodule from here. That must have rolled down the cliff very recently. I'm looking forward to popping that one open. It's got to have something on the inside of it. So I've just spotted what looks like a really good ammonite. Not sure how I didn't spot it on the way around, but I guess that's just how it goes. And it's all there. Can't wait to prep that one out. In fact, it's a double. There's another one on the side. That should be perfect. Awesome. So now I'm going to have a go at cracking open this awesome rusty nodule that I found which had rolled down the cliff. It's got to have one inside so I'm hoping. Here goes. Ah, fortunately on the inside the preservation was terrible. That's a shame, I really expected that one to work out well. Oh well. So my dad's just spotted this one, it's wearing out in a little rock pool. Nice one. Bring out quite far out. Looks like paddle digits and a few ribs and stuff like that. I'll show you a close up in just a second. <clears throat> We've got numerous little bones eroding out. These are the paddle digits. It's way too worn for me to take back. It's probably been wearing out on the beach system for years. Nice to see though. I'm going to put this back where I found it. And let the sea roll it around for a few more years. Maybe someone will find it and rescue it eventually or maybe it'll just get smashed to bits eventually. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you two partial plant ferns preserved next to each other. So that's one rock, and there's quite a nice one inside here as well. If you look at the beautiful detail there. 
I'd love to find one myself, which is fresh and carryable. But unfortunately, these blocks are mega hard and very heavy. So we've just gathered a few nodules of various shape. I'm not 100% confident that I'm going to get anything out of these, but I'm going to crack them off camera and then if there's anything of interest, I'll show you. If there's nothing, then it's been a waste of time. So that's everything for today's video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed it and I will see you all on the very next one.